Well, guys, Michael Morris and Grant Horvat have left good good. We all sit here today. This is not a video that we want to be bringing your guys' way in any way, shape, or form, but it's the fact of the matter. Um, and we see your guys' comments about Micah. We've seen your guys' comments. And, and due to legal reasons, there, there have been things that we can and can't say. And so today, we're going to open up as much as we can about the situation. Um, Micah recently uploaded a video, and, and what we know is Mike is going to be doing his own thing moving forward. And so we'll see exactly what that means as the future unfolds. Um, as far as Grant Horvat, I think it's probably a huge shock to you guys, as it was to us. It was very abrupt. Neither of these guys leaving is something that we wanted to happen. But we're here today, and we're going we're gonna to kind of talk about the whole situation. You've basically become these guys' brother for two years, Tig probably five for – some of us. I'm his maybe. cousin. Right. <laughs> maybe, even <longer. laughs> maybe even longer. Yeah, but you, you, I mean, you just get used to it. It's like you just become, it's not even friends. You come closer than friends. It's like literal brothers, like you're a wolf pack that just sticks together. And seeing seeing two people leave is definitely, I mean, it's a shock. I'm sure it's a shock for you guys because you watch the content literally day in and day out. I was going to say, going off the fact of like just seeing each other, myself, Steve, Garrett, Cade, and Luis, we all live together. Yeah. I see you guys all the time. Colin and Max, I come in the office all the time. You guys are always working. Matt pops over to the house to play video games and all that. I always get to see everyone that's sitting here. And like you guys are saying, my time to really see and hang out, spend quality time with Grant and Micah was during a good, good week. Mm -hmm. And I'm honestly, I'm thoroughly going to miss that. Honestly, yeah. I had a great time with all those guys. Yeah, that's just really, I, just, I hope I get to see him some more. I, I, I really hope I do. But the quality time I got to spend with them was during good, good weeks. And Obviously, as y'all can tell, that's no longer. Yeah, and I think to get kind of straight to the point as well, I mean, when it all came down to it, Grant told us he said he wants to leave to do his own thing. Uh, he wants to only do his own brand, his own channel. And so I think that's what he's going to be doing for his future, and it seems like Mike is going to be doing the same thing, doing his own thing. Uh, and, again, as the future unfolds, we'll see exactly what that means. Um, and just to touch on it one last time for me, it is tough to see him go. None of us wanted this to happen. I mean, no. they're like brothers. So, uh, yeah. We can start with Grant. Uh, none of us in the slightest wanted to see Grant leave at all. And just to be completely honest with y'all, we bent over backwards to try and make Grant stay. Yeah. We mm -hmm. offered him everything we could. We threw the kitchen sink at him, per se, to try and get him to stay, and he was – insistent on wanting to go do his own thing someone's heart's leading him somewhere you really can't do yeah anything. once they make yeah. that decision it it is yeah. it's pretty much over and, mm -hmm. and some people are better lone wolves i don't know some people like yeah. to be they they like to be just solo just have their own thing to do which is fine i mean it's just good good was a team mm -hmm. and I, what? no sorry i i think just the toughest thing for me is i do enjoy being a part of the team so much and to see two of the people that over the past two years we've all grown as a team leave it just it hurts and mm -hmm. I just enjoy our collaborative process and what we all bring to the table and like all your guys' different personalities mesh together Max and I cranking out the edits like I've just like we've all just grown so close over the past two years and it just it 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 hurts because it is just like it's family that's just it just it hurts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they both are just so abrupt I was just about yeah. to say that yeah. <clears throat> abrupt and it was they left back very back. Mm -hmm. yeah after you build a company for you know this long like obviously I've known Garrett for a long time I've known Steve for a long time Colin and then you know Bubby and Max you guys kind of came in later but you know <laughs> <laughs> you know you know I'm just saying like on a personal level and then we built good good now we've all been you know here together and you know Micah mm -hmm. was there and then you know Grant's there and then all of a sudden it honestly just seemed like in a blink of an eye all of a sudden now it's just it's like the people in this room yeah. and that that to me sucks because I I got to share one of my greatest one of my greatest memories ever that I've had was with all of you guys you know I made that hole in one yeah I, mm -hmm. that that is something that I probably can honestly say that I will never do again I'm gonna leave <laughs> it up there. there's some hope you did do already you did that's, two. that's true I, I'm not gonna leave it out but like to have a memory like that with all of you guys there, everybody getting hyped. This is the first time I saw Grant run in nine years, <laughs> right? And it, it was just one of the most legendary experiences 
and like to be able to have that with you guys, like Colin said, family. We went to you a know, bar afterwards. Yeah, we went to a bar afterwards. <laughs> we, we got to experience it. Like, yeah. it that was just nice. such a such a special moment. Um, and it, it just it sucks that you know. I mean, memories never leave. That's one thing we can't. Yeah, do. that's yeah. true. I guess, and it's all on camera. That's the other. Yeah. Thing. It is all. On we camera. get that forever. And you have that. The thing I want to go off that though, kind of touching with, is like even if you take away all the golf, you take away golf. I never golf with y'all again. Never film another video with y'all again. That won't change anything at all. Like golf is not my yeah. relationship with y'all. Like you guys, like you guys use the term. Obviously, none of us are blood. Micah was your cousin, yeah. but you guys now at this point figuratively and literally are my blood like i look at y'all like brothers y'all yeah. my ride or dies honestly like this group of guys right here i am going to rock with till the end we are all in this who i can confidently say no one out of this group of six guys is going anywhere no yeah. no yeah. I, I don't think so at all not. no one yeah. and one thing i do want to say is that we there was no like argument there was no fight mm. no. that happened that caused them to go yeah it wasn't like we all got in a fight and then they and left. Right. They left. Everyone like it's funny like we have our Reddit and we read, <laughs> we read like <laughs> oh, no. all of that stuff like yeah. all the threads. The virus. And dude, the conspiracies you guys have come up Amazing. with is just crazy. <laughs> like people are just like over here, here, and here, and it's just like, it's wild. dude. And a lot of you guys believe a lot of conspiracies as well. And everyone wants to make beef out of a situation, you know. But at the end of the day, Mike and Grant are leaving to do their own mm -hmm. thing. Like, like Bubby said, we, you know, we did what we could to keep them around. We tried, you know, and there was just, like they said, their heart took them the other way. Yeah, and like we were talking about, it's crazy. One of the last videos I filmed with Micah it wasn't even a good, good video. It wasn't a Bubby Golf video. It wasn't a Micah video. It was the match with Rick Shields. And Micah was my caddy, and I caddied for him in it. Mm -hmm. And... In that video, and even just being there in person, I had such a great time with him. Mm. I had so much fun. We were cracking up in the carts. <laughs> I said, I, I said some stuff, and we had a really I good time. It. And Rick left yeah. it in. Rick, Rick left it in. Rick, Rick didn't Everything care. Bro. Me talking about Rick. Me talking about the hot flight attendant. Mike got a kick out of that yeah. one. But yeah, it's crazy because <laughs> I'm sitting there spending time with him, expecting the next month and the month after that and the coming years are all going to be the same thing. And all of a sudden, you just lose one person, and then pretty shortly thereafter, another person, and now we are forced to adapt. And yeah. mm -hmm. But that's yeah. what we're going to do. We're going to carry on. Yeah. I mean, that's a great point, Bubby. Because I was, like, rooming. I was rooming with Micah that whole entire trip, too, and it was just we laughed so much, and we just, you know, that's also when we did the live, live meetup, and, like, it was just such an amazing experience. You know, I mean, we can we can talk about all of our experiences with, with Mike and good good I mean but we had so many great accomplishments together all of us did we launched an apparel company we 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 got this office yeah, for, for when Tig rolled down the hill dude and he was he was <laughs> farting Bay. at Dan Zante Bay he was rolling down the hill just farting up a storm oh I remember God. that Dan Zante was a different was different. Man Dan Dan Zante, Zante, that was he the was horse wild. video <laughs> yeah. that was a different Micah bro that up down horse video that was, that was you haven't different. seen this map you haven't, you, you haven't seen this map you that was, this map. Different remember, side that was a different side of map whatever the heck you weren't expecting you weren't expecting this map that was a different man brother so I mean yeah just like a lot of great moments uh, a lot of good times and a lot of accomplishments. We got this office, you know. That's yeah. a huge goal of ours. A huge goal of ours was to launch an apparel company. We did that. And we hit a million subscribers, which was amazing. Uh, I mean, I want to say, Micah, I'm very grateful for you being a part of this company as long as you were. And we are thankful for all the times that we had. Uh, they're, all I mean, the, I, they're all in the book. I've already, I've already said it. It's going to be tough moving forward, but, you know. You got yep. you have like <laughs> the position we're in. You have to move forward. You can't just yeah. reminisce. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's it's all in the past. And Grant, we all kind of met around the same time. Yeah, Matt and Stephen and me uh, met him down in, in West Palm Beach. He was going to PBA, and uh, I just remember seeing Grant. And we all we all got along with him. <laughs> yeah, like the a tall. He was, yeah, man. tall, just like he's smiling <laughs> all the time. His, his teeth, his big teeth. That's the first thing we teeth. all know. I feel like that's the first thing we all notice is you just open up his mouth. He's like, holy, man, man's got some molars on him. <laughs> in the in the <laughs> yeah, yeah. horse teeth. And Colin, there, yeah, we were filming. In Florida, we were and filming I saw the Grant drop swing, and I was like, it's the golf swing of destiny. I was like, this. I remember is you telling me, he's like, this is the prettiest swing I've ever seen. Yeah. So smooth. And I mean, yeah, like fast forward, I we had an Airbnb at the time. We had just moved down to to texas and this is this is before we started good good but i remember calling up grant seeing if he wanted to come in town with some of his friends that we also knew from pba they came they hung out 
And I remember Grant saying, like, we should film a YouTube video, and, and we did. We filmed a little match, me, Micah, Grant, and his teammate, and everyone loved the guy. They were just, yeah. like, this big old this big old smile, this guy just, like, having a good time, his good vibes, and, and I, I mean, we all loved Grant as well. He was, he was just, like, a great fit. It kind of happened naturally, but um, we hadn't really talked about it at all, honestly, and kind of fast forward, um, I remember, like, randomly, I think I was talking to Steve about it. I was like, I feel like it would be fun to do YouTube with Grant. Like, let's see if he's interested in it. Yeah. And I, I remember I was, I was in West Palm and we were just driving around. I was in his car. We were just driving around talking. I was like, Hey man, like I just said, I was like, do you want to do YouTube? And he was like, dude, yes. Like, that'd be awesome. And he was super excited about it. And right after he graduated college, he came out to Texas and, and joined up with the good, good guys. So yeah, I was his roommate. Yeah, for a month. month. Yeah, you guys a month and a house. half, we shared bunk beds in the master bedroom <laughs> at the old Good Good House. Like two grown that. men in a bunk bed <laughs> in a room. Honestly, that master bedroom is the same size as the office. There was a spare room. <laughs> there was a spare room. Oh, there was a spare room. There was yeah. an open room. <laughs> but there was no bed in there, and we're not taking apart yeah. a bunk bed to put one half in there. So we just shared. <laughs> Didn't we have two bunk beds? Together. Yeah. I think we did. We never too. built the second one, dude. Build. It took me it took me hours to build that I one, remember. and none of us wanted to do it. Yeah. Grant ain't building nothing, <laughs> so we just lived there together and had a nice symbiotic relationship for a month and a half. Didn't okay. we have a podcast about the start of Grant? Like, yeah, we did. And he was on there. It was in your basement. It yeah. was in yeah. Oh my gosh, that podcast <laughs> in Kansas. Was nuts. We said, "Is Grant joining Good Good?" That was like the title of it. That was like the very very beginning. I remember actually, it wasn't official for no. a while. No. And then mm. we finally were like, "All right, let's." Let's get this done. Let's do this officially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know we're kind of sitting here and, and reminiscing. I think it's it's something that we want to do. We want we don't want to just upload like a four or five minute video. Just like all right, they're gone by. Like yeah, they they mean a lot to us, and that's why we want to talk about these important moments that we shared with them. They have a special place in our heart with everything we did with Good Good and on our personal channels and everything like that. Uh, you know, Good Good had kind of already gotten gotten started. The apparel company was started and. And the YouTube channel was doing very well when, when Grant got involved with Good Good. And it was a good thing. Like, it was a great thing that we had for almost the last two years, I guess. Yep. Um, you guys seem to freaking love Grant, and we do as well. Like, on the videos and off the videos, just he's a good time. At the core of this business is our friendship. You have to vibe off camera to vibe on camera as well. It's not like a sports team. You can't just throw in a face and go out there, yeah. or else it will show through camera. But... Like I said, at the core of this business is friendships. It is a business at the end of the day. And alluding to what I said earlier on, and this isn't a podcast, but alluding to what I said earlier on in the video, we probably made one of the most competitive offers YouTube has ever seen to try and get Grant to stay. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but we, when I say we threw the kitchen sink at him, we really wanted him to stay. We love the kid. Like, we all just reminisced now. We had great times with the kid, and... Like, he just wanted to go be a lone wolf and do his own thing. Mm -hmm. I think, like, so to add to what Bubby said, like, when Micah exited, it was, it was very abrupt, and it was kind of like, all right, there's no, there's no compromise here. It's, it's mm -hmm. done. Like, he's doing his own thing, and we got we to gotta move on. We got to accept that. It's done, and he's going to do whatever he's going to do. So mm -hmm. uh, for that situation, that was that with Grant. Um, yeah, like, we were trying really hard to compromise and, and make – anything work because like at the end of the day everyone sitting here today like right here is i truly believe like willing to do whatever it takes to make good good work because it is so important to us and it has such a special place in our heart and we truly believe in this company we believe in the future of this company we believe in the present and that's that's kind of what it was we we want to do anything we can to make this work and unfortunately it was still kind of like my heart's going in a different direction and I'm going to do my own thing. That's one thing that I didn't really think about until you just said that literally is like when Micah said that he was like done with us when that, when it was done, uh, like you said, it's like, it was just done. Yeah. With Grant, it was so, it was, a glimmer of hope. It was about a week. It was, a week it was so crazy. Cause I, we literally like, I don't want to specifically put a date on like when everything happened. Cause it was probably like a week. I yeah. Say, it was, it was a few days, but what's crazy mm -hmm. is we filmed that Halloween video, the vlog, mm -hmm. And it was like a normal day. It was like yeah, a normal day. day. No one and knew then, like, like three days later. A couple <laughs> days later, <laughs> yeah. it was just like, I want to go do my own thing. My heart's going this other direction. But it wasn't 
as like set in stone. It was just like I think it was like three or four days of conversation between us and Grant of like, we want to make this work, Grant. We clearly can tell you might want to be going to do your own thing, but we're willing to compromise, whatever that may be. Like, let's figure this out together. And that's what we did. Like, we did anything and everything we could to uh, to make it work. But at the end of the day, like, people have their own desires, and I think that's something we can all sit here and understand as well. It's like, whatever that is. We gotta we gotta live with that and that's it. So I, I I I do understand, yes, people have their own desires, they see what they want in general, but I can say from my perspective, I came into the company in a very similar position that Grant did. And honestly, the gratitude I have for y'all, every single one of you guys sitting here, what you gave me, how much y'all helped me out. I'm just going to say it straight up. I, I there could be a super competitive offer from somewhere else, and I have too much loyalty to y'all to leave. Yeah. That's just keeping it a buck. I want to say it out there. That might be kind of harsh. <laughs> but that's I like all of us. I have paid them back. Like, it, like it might be kind of harsh. No, but like honestly, y'all gave me so much, and I'm very grateful. Me and Grant both came into this company after it started, and yeah, I just can't drop everything y'all have given me to go find something better myself because I'm grateful for you guys and. Yeah, that's guess I'm just gonna say to that. Regardless of desires, yeah. you still have to have some level of loyalty to those who gave you a lot and brought you up, and you have to recognize that in your decision. Not saying Grant didn't recognize that, but I'm just gonna give my perspective, being in a similar position to he is coming into this company after you already started it. I feel, and I also feel like it, for us, it's good if we know everybody is 100% dedicated inside of our circle, because it can start problems when there's other people that are leaning both ways or wherever they want to go like it is good when you are 100 percent and you can look at each one of these people and say you're 100 percent dedicated i feel like that is the most important part of good good is everybody like you're just like solid in your position you're committed well i and think the, everyone sitting here today just truly believes in it i think yeah mm -hmm. that's like something that we can confidently say and i think something that we haven't mentioned is is luke is now a part of good good and we've mm -hmm. had countless conversations with him about the future of good good and what he thinks about good good and i i can sit here and confidently say luke's in here for the long haul too like mm -hmm. yeah. the guy loves it and he understands what we we have is very special um and what good good is doing right now is a very special thing so i can say that about luke as well as you guys and i mean colin 100%. and max are the most i mean colin and max are like the most important thing to this whole company of why it works mm -hmm. what they do for the editing the videography that's one thing that it's amazing like you know we've been i feel like pretty positive about this situation but one thing that confused me honestly was like we i remember during the few days that we talked to grant we asked like has good good stopped you from doing your own thing like has it gotten in the way and his answer was no so that's one thing that i well, that's it. Very good. I mean, it just comes down to it. some people are better off on their own. They like to have complete and utter control of everything they do. And I mean, good, good is a team at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and that's sorry. Good. No. Yeah. Just I guess what you said, Steve, is I kind of I I've I've been the lone wolf before with my the Minecraft stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you can't say that without Vegas. smiling. In the past, like for my <laughs> for for six seven years, um, it was just all under my control like I was like the lone wolf doing doing the videos Max was helping me film and stuff but I was mm -hmm. doing all the editing and coming up with the ideas and stuff and I can I don't know I just now coming in and doing it with all you guys mm -hmm. and having all you guys as my support system too like when things get tough and knowing that we're all working together at the same goal as a team like I I would not give that up for the world like it's like th that feeling is like there's just it just you can't match that when you mm -hmm. are like when you're doing it by yourself and like yeah I don't yeah the highs and the lows as a team yeah. are so different. different like the highs are higher and the lows aren't mm -hmm. as bad right and I remember like we it clicked with us because we've done like you mentioned I filmed some of your stuff but it was your thing and I had my little thing that I would do and you had your thing and when mm -hmm. we came together for good good it was like this we superpower it's like what like what have we been like, doing this whole oh my god us together like, this is great like yeah. everything was so great uh and you guys have formed something that i want i mean i want you guys to know as well like what you guys do in the content the the production and the editing is not it does not go unseen no um yeah i know that we can all say that like 
good good is is genuinely nothing without that like uh -huh. the production that you guys bring to those videos is is nothing like yeah we can get on camera and play golf but that's the other thing that i do want to say is like for us like the biggest thing that we have to do is show up for a week and play golf yeah it's, it's you guys are working 30 mm. days a month for us like we got to go hit a golf ball for a week and then for those other three weeks we can go on a three-week adventure to do all of our personal content and do everything on the side that we want to do and get all of our videos which is a great balance everyone is able to have their personal brand and have freedom to do what they want on that side and still just show up for a week and and do that a one week out of the month but for you guys like you guys are balls to the wall yeah. balls inside and of the wall just going <laughs> nuts and right? that's again it like like we keep reiterating it but like the group dynamic of us all being friends makes it like not work even though it sounds like a lot of time it doesn't feel like work and if if you're watching this and you're a video creator like i think you can understand like the biggest thing for me was like i loved making videos but i had nothing to film like i would like come up right. I, you had to come up with the story you had to whatever it was it's a dream for me just to have this amount of content to work on mm -hmm. and have the audience that loves seeing and commenting and like that is my dream so that's what you know, yeah, it makes the whole thing. It's my golf. For and me. I feel, <laughs> I feel lucky too. Cause you have all kind of like blessed us with the platform to show our editing skills too. Right. again, like Max and I are saying, like it just, without that, like our skills are nothing. If we don't have you guys also playing golf and being entertaining, like you can't just mm -hmm. edit a cardboard plank into a, <laughs> something good. Yeah. Right. But there's a win. I mean, like, that goes both ways. That's right. That's what again, like, like the, us the team, win. the symbiotic of all of it. The like whole us thing. playing golf without you guys shows nothing about us. I feel like confidently for all six of us here, going and filming good, good content and having a life this blessed to do what we do is all of our dreams. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, I couldn't think of a more beautiful life. It does not feel real. No, like most not. days it just it's and it really doesn't. The group too, like us sitting here, how organically it all came together. We weren't we weren't picked out by some agency. Yeah, nothing was together. forced. It was yeah. Everything was just so organic. Like mm -hmm. everything just down to the, down to the smallest smallest thing. Like nothing. Our friendships weren't forced. Mm -hmm. Even when I met your big tall ugly head, <laughs> <It all just laughs> that happened. wasn't forced. Like think about it. We were just on a trip to Florida, and this idiot came with us. <laughs> big old giraffe. His neck used to be long. And I mean, it's and it, it was, long. like to bring that like to your guys' point. Like where I saw it with Colin, because you two. This is what I'll say. What I wanted to say where Colin and Max, you guys have gotten me so involved, is like, yes, I obviously step in front of the, the, the camera and I'm an absolute crazy man, <laughs> and I show that personality, which is something that I've always dreamed about doing. I've always wanted to be an actor, and now I get to do that. But you guys have also taught me so much about videography. That's something that I, in my entire life, if you would ask me when I was working at McDonald's, I'd learn. I would have said, get this crap out of my <laughs> face. I don't want to learn it. <laughs> I probably went to McDonald's. You probably did. I probably, I probably saw you. No, I think the, the two most important part is the editing team and the viewers because if there's no one watching our videos what are we doing like, right. we literally, what are we, we're, just, we're literally insane yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we're just talking to nothing i don't know exactly <laughs> well, no, that's true. i would go one step further i would say the viewers are the most important part. yeah 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 <laughs> <'Cause> we, <laughs> without them, <laughs> without okay, them we're just watching the, the, the top that's are like just, dumb and dumb okay around. here here we go <laughs> that was bad. all right we'll go number one is the viewer you guys are the most important thing and then it, inside of good good is the editing that goes behind it yeah Anyway, what I was saying, <laughs> dude, that, was, dude, that was a moment of, that was an <laughs> interesting moment. Steven had a thought oh, and when you get that little bubble on him, he's like, oh, you don't need to, he's got to get right <laughs> into it. But uh, yeah, anyway, you guys have like, you two shown me like how, like I have now been able to show like my appreciation for the cameras and like the editing side of things. And like, I've been able to learn so much about like what these cameras are called and microphones and, and audio what and is, lighting. Called, yeah. Man, what right? is that one? <laughs> That's a. Big old thing. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me. I feel like what you're, what everyone's saying is like, the whole dynamic of like just the team, yeah, allows that. I think that this podcast has a lot had a lot of different emotions. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that. Like, we've been sad. We've reminisced on Micah and Grant, and obviously now they're gone. And for the future of Good Good, I think there's a lot of great things. Like, yeah. uh -huh. that's one thing that I'm. I, I gotta say, I'm really proud of this team right here. I'm really proud of us because 
through the, I mean, this is a low, like we talk about yeah. as a team, you win as a team, you lose as a team. And we've done a lot of great things together. This is like one of our first really big lows. And I think that mm -hmm. we can all sit here and say like, we've done a good job through this and mm -hmm. we've kept a good mental headspace and we're really excited for the future of good good and what we have in store for you guys to watch and also just for us in general like mm -hmm. what we have planned is is awesome and i i just do want to say that like i'm really proud of these these guys right here and i mean honestly i i can also say if it wasn't for you five right here like i mean no, none of no individual can do this alone no mm -hmm. one could go through this alone and i don't know we've stuck true to it and and I, I think great things will happen in the future. I really do believe it. Mm -hmm. And that was the other thing I wanted to touch on too, like you talking about us all being here as a group. We all have shared this low together of two people leaving us. Yep. Like just to put it out there bluntly, two people left us. High and dry, I think, could be thrown in the mix, to be honest. And we all shared that struggle together. Mm -hmm. And when you share struggles with someone, that's how you grow closer. That is. And yep. Obviously, to y'all viewing, two people leaving a group looks like it could spell for volatile times. I have not felt one ounce of volatility from this group. Uh, like I said at the beginning, this group of six guys is not going anywhere. We ain't leaving, <laughs> as they do in Wolf of Wall Street. But, yeah, there's no volatility here. We're going to keep on chugging along. We all alluded to it. Huge things coming in the next year, two years. I'm done to do this for 10 more years. I'd do it forever if I could. I have the time of my life hanging out with y'all and filming golf videos. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's a great point, Bubby. Um, it's one it's one big, giant, crazy group. And I, I, <laughs> right. believe, I believe, I <laughs> believe, and here, here's the thing, though. I believe in each individual person here, right? Like, I believe in you, Steve. I believe in you, Garrett. I believe in you, Colin. I believe in you, Bubby, and you, Max. Like, I believe in all of you guys. I believe that like you guys have put me here for a reason. Like I'm here for a reason and I'm just so glad that I, I get to, like we've talked about a lot, share the super highs with you guys and share the super lows with you guys. Cause YouTube can be, it can be a crazy thing and it can mess with you mentally mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. can put you in some absolute terrible lows. And I think we've all kind of experienced that in one way or another. And obviously this low is absolutely terrible, but like to be able to be here with you guys and know that I don't have to go through it alone and know that like the next five, six, seven, eight, ten years, there's probably going to be some more bad lows and some really, really good highs. And I'm just, I'm looking forward to this business moving and growing and being able to experience that with every single one of you guys. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've, I get emotional a lot on good, good, on good, good topics and stuff. And I know I've, I've done it with you guys before. Um, <sighs> It's just this group, it means the world to me. It mm -hmm. really does. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> it's a tough thing when you got to go through stuff like this, but, you know, this group is, you guys are my family. Yes, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to move forward. Mm -hmm. You know? Again, this, this situation does stink, but I love you guys, and I'm excited to move forward and experience some more amazing memories and, Watch Steve make his first hole in one and run to the hole with his big old legs. <laughs> big old leg. It's gonna be, it's gonna be too. awesome. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's gonna be amazing. And I I like we've talked about. I cannot wait for twenty twenty three. There's some absolutely insane ideas and and things that we're gonna do as a group that I think are just gonna you know bring us closer together. And obviously, I've mentioned a lot about it. But when you guys forget something, it's in the book. So don't worry about forgetting stuff. It's all going to be written There's down. There's some things they're probably going to want to forget probably in there. Probably some things you want to forget. <laughs> so. But it's all going to be in there, and we'll all be able to someday open that thing up and read it and just be like, wow, dang, I can't believe that happened in my lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> so That's awesome. It's going to be fun stuff, you guys. I think that's about it, boys. I think we there went was, over everything. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I don't know if there's going to be a wrap to it. There's just one more thing I want to say, and that's to the viewers, and this is honestly <coughs> from all of us, I'm yeah. sure, is – Thank you guys for your patience and bearing with us through this process. As we touched on the beginning, we've seen the comments. And yeah. as Garrett said, there have been legal reasons as to why we've been quiet. We owe you guys thank yous for a multitude of reasons. Like honestly, endless gratitude we owe to y'all for making these lives so blessed and blessing us with this platform. Yeah, just to wrap up what I want to say, thank you for the patience. Uh, we are not proud to have not been transparent. We've wanted to be transparent. Mm -hmm. We obviously do have legal counsel that has said be quiet and they are very good at their jobs and we do have to listen to that and just thank you guys for your patience. Thank you for the continued support. I love y'all. We all love you. Uh, whoever wants to wrap it up. That's pretty much it. I was just literally going to say the same thing. Thank you guys. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, thank you. It's exactly what Bubby said. Without you guys, this life doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. And these trips that we talk about, this this amazing life that we live together as a group on these trips and just filming content, playing golf, having a good time. It's only possible because of everyone at home watching our content, supporting the apparel, literally everything that you guys do. It's it's amazing. I, I can't even sit here and thank you guys enough, honestly. No, it I, does mean the world. I don't think we could ever thank you guys enough, to be quite honest. It's you've literally ch- we took a risk, but it you guys have literally changed our lives. Yeah, 100 percent. And yeah. Wow. That's that. I know we That's went that. over we went over a lot, a lot yeah. of different emotions, but that wraps it up. So, thank you. We're excited you for the future, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Peace.